Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video of Repair It. So if you are a Windows user, you probably came across the error code 233011 while trying to play a video on an embedded JW player on your web browser. This error code can pop up while you're watching a video on YouTube, Twitch, and even Netflix. And so it can be super frustrating, especially when all you want to do is relax after a day's worth of work. In this video, we will see what exactly is error code 233011 and how we can fix it in 2025. We'll also cover other related errors and find the solutions to help you watch all your favorite content without interruptions. But before proceeding any further, let's hit that subscribe button and drop a comment below with any question that you may have already. Now let's first understand what this error is before we fix it. Error code 233011 is a common video playback error that usually occurs when a video cannot be played correctly or even loaded at all. And it usually occurs on streaming services like Netflix or Twitch, and you probably also have encountered it on 9anime when an episode doesn't load. And if you have seen the message, this video cannot be played, error code 233011, then you don't have to resort to an alternative to 9anime, for example. You can actually fix this error once and for all. This error code usually means that there's a problem with your internet connection, your browser settings, your hardware acceleration, and even your browser extensions. All of these can cause the error to pop up. Sometimes you disable Hardware Acceleration Chrome or Hardware Acceleration Firefox, depending on the browser you're using, and this issue gets fixed. But that's not always the case, so that's why we're going to look at other methods you can use to fix this error once and for all. Let's get to them. Method number one, check internet connection. If you run into the error code 233011, then the first thing you should do is check your internet connection, because a poor or unstable internet connection can cause video playback issues and then keep you wondering why is that anime not loading? So here's how you can check your connection. Let's first open a browser on your computer and visit any speed testing website to check your internet speed. If your download and upload speeds are normal, then try disconnecting your router and modem for 30 seconds and then reconnecting them again. Once you are sure that your internet connection is stable, refresh the page on your streaming platform and check if error 233011 is gone. Method number two, clear browser cache and cookies. If the error code pops up on your screen, not because of your internet connection, then it might be because of your browser cookies and cache. They might be super filled with junk. So here's how you can empty them and fix this error. Let's first open your browser and go to its menu. Then click on the delete browsing data tab and a new window will pop up to ask you to select the time period for which you want to delete the browsing data. Make sure to select cookies and other site data and cached images and files before clicking on the delete data button. This will clear all the browser caching cookies and get rid of the error for you. Method number three. Disable Hardware Acceleration As mentioned earlier in the video, if you disable hardware acceleration on your browser, like Chrome or Firefox, this can help resolve the issue. So let's take a look how you can do it. If you are using Google Chrome, let's first click on the three dots in the top right corner. Now locate and click on Settings from the drop-down menu. Now go to the Systems tab and then toggle off the Use Graphics Acceleration When Available option and restart your browser. Turning off Hardware Acceleration will not only fix error code 233011, but also improve your browser's performance by reducing the chances of unexpected crashes, especially if you are using an old system. Method number four, disable antivirus software. Let's say that you're still getting this error code on your screen. You could try disabling your antivirus or your computer security software for a little while. Let's see how you can do it. Let's first open the search box in the taskbar and then type control panel. Now open the control panel and select the antivirus from the list of programs. Now click on the uninstall button and then once the software is removed, you have to restart your system and you won't see the error code on your screen anymore. Method number five, disable browser extensions. 
Another method to get rid of this error code is by disabling some of your browser extensions. Here's how you can do it. First, open your browser and go to the menu and then click on the settings button. Once the settings tab is open, you will see an extensions button at the bottom of the navigation menu. Clicking on the extensions button will open a new tab in your browser and show you the list of extensions installed in your browser. Turn off or remove the unused extensions from the list and this should fix the error code on your computer. Let's say that you've tried all the previous methods, but you still encounter this error code, which means that your video is probably corrupted. The good thing is that there's a software called Wondershare Repair It that works 10 out of 10 times in repairing corrupted video files. So now I'm going to show you how you can use this software to perfection to fix those corrupted videos. Let's get to it. Let's first download the program and then run the repaired setup file once downloaded. Once the installation procedure is complete, let's launch OneShare Repair It video repair software. The first step is to add the unsupported video file to repair it. To do that, let's click on the plus add button presented in the middle of the software screen. After that, select the video you want to fix and your video will instantly be added to the software. Once the video is selected, click on the repair button at the bottom right of the software screen. Once the video is repaired, it will play once you click to preview it. Previewing the video will tell you if it's the desired quality or not. You can click on the advanced repair button if you are still unsatisfied with the video quality and want to repair the video once again. Now choose the location on your computer where you want to save the repaired video. After selecting the desired folder or drive, click on the save button. Your video will be instantly saved on the selected folder and there you have it. The easiest way to fix the error code 233011. In today's video, we went through multiple ways to fix that error code that keeps popping up on your screen from checking your internet connection, disabling your browser extensions and even clearing your cache. And if by any means you have a video that's corrupted, then the Wondershare Repaired software is wonderful to help you out with that. If you have found this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more similar content. Also, you can drop a comment below with anything on your mind. Let's start a little conversation down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.